jury, having been duly impaneled and sworn, find the defendant, Jonathan Malone, not guilty of reckless homicide, a third degree felony as he stands charged in count one of the information. You heard it right there. Breaking now, a former Highland County Sheriff's deputy found not guilty of reckless homicide. Now that charge came in connection with the death of a man accused of leading authorities on a chase last summer. So let's get right to it. Mike Shell's been following the trial. He's live outside the courthouse in Hillsborough with more. Mike. Yeah, Trisha, a jury of seven women and five men found former Highland County Sheriff Sergeant Jonathan Dustin Malone not guilty of reckless homicide in the July 2022 death of 58 year old Richard Pullen. This two day trial uh, saw the Malone and the prosecution uh, going head to head. The prosecution saying that Malone's actions were unjustified that night, but the defense said that he was just following his training. Had the jury convicted former Sergeant Dustin Malone of one count of reckless homicide, he would have faced up to three years in prison. On July 17, 2022, Malone spotted Richard Pullen driving erratically and running stop signs. According to state investigators, a nine mile, 13 minute long high speed chase ended on US 62 in Hillsborough. Malone approached Pullen's pickup truck and smashed his driver's side window with his baton while holding his service weapon in his non dominant left hand. The gun went off and the bullet struck Pullen in the shoulder and neck. The prosecution said Malone should not have had both weapons out and his gun should have been in his right hand. But the defense said it didn't matter. One handed operation of a pistol is taught in basic academy training, as well as in service activities, tactical training, and that the transfer from the right hand to a left hand or left hand to right hand is done all the time is a common and appropriate law enforcement tactic. I spoke briefly with Richard Pullen's ex-wife uh, outside the courtroom today. Uh, Teresa Pullen did not want to go on camera. She just said she wanted this whole thing just to be over. Reporting live from Hillsboro, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.